everybody, welcome to another edition of Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. I'm Nathan. Today we're going to be talking all about speaker mounts. So you bought some new speakers and you're trying to figure out what do I do with them, how do I mount them, uh, what are my options, uh, more to come on that soon. All right, so you just bought some new Pro Audio speakers. Uh, we'll talk about commercial audio speakers in another uh, video here, but you bought some new Pro Audio speakers for your church, uh, for your band, that kind of thing, and you're wondering, what do I need now? Uh, so we've got some uh, options that I want to go over here with you guys. First, you never want to hang speakers by the handles. Uh, most manufacturers don't rate their handles for the weight of the speaker. Uh, and you always want to consult the manufacturer's manual for any guidelines about uh, suspension or mounting or hanging and that kind of thing. Uh, also, um, we always want to talk to a pro. Uh, we want to talk to a carpenter, an engineer, somebody like that, but when, anytime we're mounting speakers permanently uh, because that can obviously be dangerous as far as that goes. Uh, so always make sure and consult a pro. Um, that being said, we've got a variety of different mounts available. Um, things like uh, tripod stands, um, you know, or pole mounts. Uh, lots of pro audio speakers these days have holes underneath um, called a pole cup or pole mount uh, where basically uh, sometimes you have adapters designed for accommodating different sizes of pole cups but basically you have a pro audio speaker that has a hole underneath it you can pick it up set it on top of your stand um, you got your tripod stand some have uh, cranks to raise and lower automatically whereas some you basically just uh, tighten and uh, raise up and down and have uh, a different collection of safety pins. Uh, some have uh, tripod stands, some have round base stands, um, variety of different options as far as that goes. Uh, those are especially popular for portable setups. Um, and we have those from companies like um, uh, Gator Rackworks, Onstage Stands, um, Atlas IED, and some others. Um, if you're doing for more of a uh, permanent type solution, uh, it, perhaps we bought some speakers from companies like JBL or ElectroVoice. A lot of those also have um, their own uh, mounts available from the manufacturer so that you can basically get an EV mount uh, for your EV speaker that'll bolt onto it and then you, you know, just screw it right to the wall to uh, mount it permanently that way. We also have um, kind of just some more standard options like I mentioned from Gator. Um, if you're doing say a portable setup that mounted your speaker on the pole, but you decide, hey, I want to mount that permanently. Uh, we also have a line of permanent uh, wall mount pole cup brackets. So basically this gets mounted to the wall, your speaker gets set up there, and then from there we've got some angle adjustments that we can do. Also, some pro audio speakers are designed to be suspended or flown, as we call it. Um, in those cases, you basically have your box type speaker where you can take an eye bolt kit once again, always consult the manual as far as what bolts you need, what weight rating, that kind of thing. And basically, rather than um, bolting through the, uh, the nut here, the eye bolt screws right into the top of the speaker, and then you're able to use your chain or your aircraft cable um, or your span sets uh, to suspend the speaker. So if you're feeling overwhelmed and uh, not sure what you need here, definitely make sure to consult a carpenter or a contractor, um, somebody who definitely is skilled in mounting uh, large speakers, especially because we always want to err on the side of safety. Uh, once again, I'm Nathan. Drop me a like down below. Let us know if you're watching or if we can help with anything else. Until next time, guys.